For his September 20th, 1958 cover, Norman Rockwell turned an old cliché into something memorable. He took the familiar theme of a runaway child and added a heartwarming intervention by a state trooper. For models, he used Dick Clemens, a member of the Massachusetts State Police, and young Eddie Locke, who had appeared on a post cover before. Rockwell almost exaggerates the difference between the little boy and the massive officer. Clemens's bulk is emphasized by perching him on a counter stool. It's one of the spring-loaded variety, which is why Clemens is sitting lower than the little boy. Originally, Rockwell had staged this scene at the counter of a Howard Johnson's restaurant, a familiar sight in the 1950s. Readers would have recognized the way the restaurant listed its famous 28 flavors of ice cream on the mirrored wall. But then he repainted the scene as a small diner, a setting he'd used before with great success. Rockwell depicts a humble country establishment with an old radio on the shelf and hand-lettered specials on a chalkboard and the well-seasoned owner leaning on the counter with a knowing smile a cigarette parked in the corner of his mouth. Rockwell said he wanted to show a country diner off the beaten path to imply the kid had gotten well out of town before the law caught up with him. Like all Rockwell covers, this one rewards close inspection with incredible details. Like the brewing coffee that's just starting to turn brown, the sugar in the dispenser still tilted from its last pouring, the reflections of the front windows in the chrome on the counter stools, and that expression on the boy's face, a mixture of awe and trust.